Hey guys, Arthur Images here, and today I'm going to show you how I shoot in direct sunlight. So, photographers like to shoot either late in the evening or early in the morning. You get nice soft light with a lot of color. However, in my work, color, yes, it's important, but I value contrast. I like high contrasting images. And if you look at my portfolio, a lot of my images, almost all of them have a lot of contrast. They have a lot of punch and a lot of grit to it. And for me, that creates the drama. That creates the edginess that I like for my portraits. Now, one key ingredient to that is shadows. And that's why I love shooting in the midday sun because I get some very dramatic shadows. And yes, uh, we've all heard it, you know, you wanna shoot when the sun's low in the sky because if you shoot at midday, uh, uh, high noon, you get some really ugly shadows on the face that may not be as flattering. However, if you know how to work the, and manipulate the light and if you have the right tools, you can get some great images. So let me take you on the shoot that I did this past summer. Uh, with the awesome athlete, uh, Fate Reed. She plays basketball for the Regina Cougars, shout out Fate. Yeah, let's take a look at the photos. The first thing when you shooting in the midday sun, one of the things you wanna do is know where the sun is. Is it gonna be in front of you or is it gonna be behind you? So for this first shot, I had the sun directly behind me. I'm sandwiched in between the sun and the athlete. And what's happening is when I take the photo of Faith, you can see the sun is just flat on her face and it just looks like a snapshot. It's not that flattering. So one of the things you wanna do, and if you can, turn their back towards the sun. And what that would do is put them in the shade. Now you may be saying, oh, that's crazy. You're gonna get a lot of flare. You're gonna get a washed out frame. Well, one of the tricks you wanna do now is then use the athlete to block your lens from the sun. And then when that happens, you can control the flare a lot better. The next step that you wanna do is you wanna bring in a reflector. Now, because I'm shooting in the high noon and mid afternoon sun, I'm using the silver side of the reflector here to bounce a lot of light back onto the subject. And the reason I'm doing that is the sun's very strong at this point in the day. So if I use a soft-sided reflector like the white side, it's not gonna give me the same intensity of light that's being reflected back on a subject. So using the silver side, you get a much uh, larger throw of light onto your subject. Also, one key uh, benefit you get from using a silver side in this situation is that your assistant the person holding and working the reflector can see that beam of light and can control it and direct it a lot better. With the white side, it's softer, so it's harder to see. But with the silver side, you can see that reflection almost in midday. So the next thing you can do is you can use a strobe. And the reason why you want to use a strobe versus a reflector is that if you have a high powered strobe, you can, you know, throw out even more light and overpower the sun. Uh, in my case, I'm just using a Prophoto B1, so I only have 250 watts. So it's not enough to overpower, you know, a midday sun. Uh, however, what I did is, I got this. So this is the Prophoto OCF Magnum reflector. And what this does, this gives me about a stop and a half. This amplifies the light output by a stop and a half. So it makes my strobe compete with the sun a little bit. However, when I'm using projected light, I can then position the light wherever I want. Now, the reason why that is important, when I'm reflecting the light, I have to get the reflector pretty much perpendicular to the light source. So I have to find the sun, and then you have to catch the sun and just angle it as much as you can to aim the light back onto the subject. So you're essentially locked off to a certain spot. But if you bring in your own light, you can move this light wherever you want. And the advantage you get with that is then you can see how the shadows are behaving and then control those shadows by moving the light around. 
So that's one uh, other trick you can use when shooting in midday sun. The last and final uh, tip I will say here is one of the things you can do is get your assistant to put a scrim in between the sun and your subject. Now what a scrim is, it's kind of like a, a diffuse screen that the light can pass through. But essentially think of it this way, you're gonna be putting your subject in the shade. So you're gonna hold it up and then you're gonna let the diffuse light pass through. And what that does, it, it, it softens the light that's hitting your subject, it takes away all the harsh shadows. And what you can then do is if you're shooting with a camera that has really high dynamic range, you can preserve all the detail in that subject and then brighten it up after when you're editing it in post. Uh, the other thing that it does too is it really takes off the harsh edge of that light. And then because the light is hitting the background with the same intensity, you can get a lot of contrast out of the background. So you're getting a softer light on the subject, but the light in the background is still getting the full intensity from the sun. So then that gives a lot more contrast. And the difference between the two uh, gives the image a lot of pop. Uh, one of the things you wanna be careful though when you're doing it this way is you need to make sure that you need to communicate well with your assistant to let them know if they're covering the, the person that you're shooting very well with the screen. If you're not careful, you could get some light creeping in on the side. So you need to just direct your assistant to make sure that they're covering the athlete in full. So I hope you guys enjoyed these little tips and tricks on how I shoot and direct sunlight. Uh, you don't have to wait for sunset. You don't have to wait for sunrise. You don't always have to go chasing that soft light, direct sunlight. You know, you can get some really great images as well. Uh, high key, very dramatic, sort of a fashion type of vibe. Uh, I apply it to my portraits and it gives me the edgy, edginess and the drama that I like. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tips and tricks on shooting in direct sunlight. Take it, run with it this summer go out and put it into practice and let me know what you think if you got any questions just drop them in the comments below and if you want to see more of my work follow me on instagram it's arthur images and until next time guys stay safe and keep shooting keep editing just keep creating guys i'll talk to you soon bye